So, it is a lovely day in summer of 1795, and the last vestiges of resistance to the Ryukyuan Empire have been crushed um, under my mighty Okinawan heel. I have maxed out my income at uh, a million ducats. I, I didn't realise that was a cap. I've never got that high before. Um, I'm making 10,000 ducats a month from trade. It can't fit in the ledger, so it's it's sort of merged with the gold income. Um, from net, 14,000 ducats a month income. As you can see from the Great Power List, I am the only country remaining in the game. No colonial nations, it's just me. And I have almost every single province in the game. There's a couple of uncolonized provinces. Uh, so up here, uh, one down here, and I think there's a couple here. I might as well fill those out um, in the remaining 25 years of the game. But um, for now, everything is mine. Let's go on a little journey. So, 4044, Ryukyu is just a small island uh, off the coast of Japan. And it will stay that way for quite a while. Um, all that I was doing was uh, researching tech ahead of time and selling it to Ming to be able to pay off my bills and keep me on um, ahead of tech. Uh, to try and get to colonize as quickly as possible. So I took land there and colonized uh, Alaska, which allowed me then to push on into um, California and then onwards into Mexico. So in a moment, I will pop up here. There you go. And yeah, I start um, spreading through Mexico. So at this point, I convert to Nahuatl and use all of these um, sort of OPMs as vassals to help me reform the faith. The reason being that when you reform the faith, you convert, uh, your, your government type goes to that of your neighbour, which usually is a European power, but in this case was these uh, steppe nomads. So that allowed me to convert and become a horde. So, having reformed the faith, I take over all of Mexico for the gold uh, to try and have some semblance of an economy. And um, I also start moving into Asia for the first time. At this point, I'm still um, a tributary of Ming. So, I start hastily eating up Japan um, because it's all accepted cultures for me. So, it's quite easy um to take you know it's, it's quick to core and gives me sort of a base to raise up troops i also am taking out indonesia for the trade income um and in about 1650 that's when the sort of main uh horde sort of mechanics kick into effect so I break tribute with Ming and take a few provinces on the coast. Uh, and that gives me a border with them, which instigates uh, unguarded nomad frontier, which basically allows me to take more of them. Um, so I think I do another war with Ming about now. There you go. And this means I'm getting all of this sort of Chinese trade going through the Philippines um, and into Malacca, which is where I've started collecting. So I'm actually finally making a bit of money. I think about now, yeah, I do an OCB on Barmanis, which allows me to get into India. And I start doing that. Meanwhile, I'm taking out Ethiopia and moving into Egypt uh, and setting the stage for a big war with the Ottomans. At this point, it's 1700, so the last 90 years of the game are incredibly quick. Um, 
so yeah, taking out Persia, basically trying to break as many truces as possible and try not to get a coalition because my overextension, uh, no, my aggressive expansion at this point is ridiculous with pretty much everybody. But um, yeah, so I've taken out uh, the sort of Basra node. So now I've got a solid base, contiguous borders going all the way along here. Um, I make Serbia and Syria vassals uh, just for the sake of overextension. Um, because uh, my overextension was pretty much 200% for almost all the time throughout this. So I'm taking out Britain. Um, I have to go to war with Spain a lot because they've got about 3,000 dev, uh, including Portugal, uh, who they've got as a vassal. But um, at this point, it's just a case of waiting for each truce to expire and then just taking out 100% war score on everyone. So I've got all of these. The colonial nations are nice and easy to take out because they don't um, use up any overextension. So Britain's gone. Austria's gone. The entirety of the HRE is, is under my command now. Um, Spain's gone. Portugal's going to go in a second. And there you go. Um, so it's as simple as that. I don't know why Stockholm says that it's Swedish still when it's clearly not. But yeah, as you see, that's the current uh, that's the current year, as they say. Um, I'm the only country that exists in the world. Got max manpower of of one point two, no, one point three million. Got a standing army of about the same. Got fairly decent morale. Um, and yeah, my force limit is 3 million men, which is obscene. Um, provinces are all pretty, pretty highly developed. I made sure to get my capital up to a hundred dev just for, for fun. Um, but yeah, 